Welcome, special viewer, to a special episode of a special playlist of a special thing I like to call story time. Uh, today I'm going to be reading a more serious story. At least, I think it's serious. Um, it, it's got two chapters. I mean, that's more serious than what I usually read. And if it's got more than one chapter, that can only mean that it's more fleshed out than anything I usually read. So, this is a Metroid fan fiction. This is also a Shifted Attitude, which is the name of the story, by user Sardarius. That's, that's what I see. The synopsis will come right after my intro. It's a lemon. You know what that means. Samus Aran has been kidnapped. Her mysterious captor wants her as a sex slave. Her life is simple, please him. Well, shit. But as she and him get closer, and their emotions become deeper, resulting in a budding romance. Okay, based on the synopsis, it now feels like it's not going to be as serious as I initially thought. Um, let's, let's get started, huh? A Shifted Attitude, Chapter 1 Darkness surrounded her, enveloping her eyes. Frantically, she searched the seemingly endless darkness, hoping to find some trace of light. Struggling did nothing. Her bounds were too tight, each fiber of the rope chafing her skin. For once, she actually was scared of the outcome. She had never been faced with this before. Not even a platoon of space pirates or, or a horde of ing has ever made her worry about her well-being. Samus Aran, first-class bounty hunter, clad in Chozo armor, now helpless. Possibilities could not have rushed through her mind any faster. Would he ki why would... Who would kidnap me? She thought in her mind. And what could they possibly want with me? The room was massive, and there he was. He sat in his lounge chair, drinking a glass of wine. The luminous flame of the fireplace shone in his deep features. He had been waiting for this moment. Finally, he would have S Samus Aran. She would be his possession and use, to use and abuse. Placing his wine on the table next to the lounge chair, he got up to pace the room. The shadows that the fire painted around him shrouded his face. Only his smirk could be seen. Ahead of her, she could see a horizontal strip of light. The close she came to it, the more she could see, to her surprise. The mode of her transportation was a self-steering cart. The cart started to jerk as it got closer to the light. With a blinding flash, she was tossed into, the searing room, into a searing room. Welcome, said a voice. I, I'm going to stop here for just a moment, just so I can say that sometimes it's written really well and sometimes it's not and I don't understand why this is like somebody's editing firm but at the same time they've got shitty proofreading skills and it's just not working out <clears throat> back to the story and I'm by the way I'm sorry I can't read very well right now I'm trying to outlast the night because my sleep schedule is shit so that's what's going on. Back to the story. Welcome, said a voice. With fear and sighed into her eyes, she tried to adjust her eyes to find where the voice em emanated from. Her eyes slowly began to form shapes. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking like Looney Tunes shit. The room's overwhelming... <clears throat> The room's overwhelming size made her head spin. The walls were lined with bookshelves, pictures, and busts of people. And sh Okay, is this going to be like Fifty Shades of Grey, but with Samus? Because the dude's obviously rich, and he wants her as a sex slave, and what kinky stuff awaits? It's definitely like Fifty Shades of Metroid or whatever. Fifty Shades of Orange... Because, okay, I'm not even going to get into that. In the shadowy re uh, recesses near the fireplace, she could see a figure. 
All but his menacing grin could not be seen. Ah, uh, Miss Aaron, glad to have er uh, glad <coughs> Ah, Miss Aaron. Glad to see you've made it in one piece, the mysterious man said. Who are you and why have you kidnapped me? she blushed furiously. My my don't we have a temper, he says while wagging his finger. I'm happy to see your trip hasn't tired you. The man left his while wagging his finger. I'm happy to see your trip hasn't tired you. The man left his place near the, f the fire pit and started pacing around her. His eyes pierced her in every direction, looking at her weakness, examining every aspect of her being. He lifted her up and escorted her to a chair similar to his own. Shaking from his grip before sitting down, she turned and spat scornfully at his feet. With a swift motion, he backhanded her. Bitch! Now, now, Miss Aaron, is that any way to treat your most gracious host? He said, wringing his hands. Gracious host, she spat. What you've done is far from gracious. It falls on the lines of barbaric. He returned to his chair and took a sip of wine. I must digress. Perhaps my actions are a tad barbaric. But you see, Miss Aaron, I have simple reasons for my actions. Reasons to kidnap, she said while rotating her sore jaw. How am I any value to you? As you are well aware, your bounty hunter status has left you with quite the worth, you see. His grin widened. I would be most pleased with having you in my collection. As my play toy. What the hell is wrong with you, she shrieked. <coughs> oh, sorry, she shrieked. Let me do that again. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with you? She shrieked. How dare you? How dare you? How dare you even insinuated my consent in this situation? Okay, that they, they were going in two different directions with that sentence, and it just didn't. It just didn't. <laughs> you see, Miss Aaron, you are in no state to bargain, nor will you have a, a choice in this. He said, with his grin still intact. You are a feisty one, and I well aware of your and I and I well aware of your strengths. But rest assured, the cards do and will not play in my favor. Okay, wait. Oh, the cards do and will play in my favor. Okay, my bad. You won't get away with this. There's no way in hell that I'll ever that I shall ever serve you. Tears flowed down her uh, from her eyes in anger. The man moved fa uh, moved faster than she could see. His hand was under her chin putting her eyes toward her. His hair flowed with his speed. What? Does anybody know what that means? His hair flowed with his speed? Because, I mean, there's a comma after that. I, there's more to it, but I'm just trying to process that statement, which isn't a statement yet. His hair flowed with his speed. Yeah, okay. His hair flowed with a speed. The brown locks flew in front of his piercing blue eyes. She did all, uh, she did all, she did all she could to look away, but his gaze was too pure. Yeah, yeah, he's he's definitely very pure. Just backhanded the bitches or whatever he does. Her muscles relaxed, and his, as his hand drifted to her neck, he then moved it to her back, unzipping her suit. Wait. I thought she was already naked. Was she not naked? Uh, well, I am tired, so... Okay. The shoulders fell... Uh, the shoulders fell off her? The girl's shoulders fell off? <laughs> the shoulders fell off her, revealing her perched breasts behind a white bra. He undid her binds, freeing her hands and legs. Standing to her feet, she removed the rest of her suit. She released the clasps of her bra, leaving her perked breasts behind her. Oh, oops, my bad. I skipped up a line there. Leaving her breasts unguarded. He reached forward and started to massage them. One... Or, oops. Out of her mouth came a cry of pleasure. He bent down and placed one of her neat pink nipples in his mouth. 
neat pink nipples. <laughs> uh, I, they're probably going for uh, alliteration, but close. He drew on it like a child, yearning for milk. Oh, man. More cries jutted from her mouth, weakening her legs. He loosed his lip lock with her breast. What? And slowly nibbled. Her body couldn't take it anymore. She had to let go. She dropped to her knees, falling from his teasing mouth. She could con she could contain herself anymore. <laughs> I like to think that at this point, um, that the writers are getting super excited about the scenes that they're writing, and the reason that it's like that is because, you know, they're just too excited that they can't focus, that they're thinking about, they're thinking about the scene so fucking hard that they make all sorts of errors that are only found when you read through it. <clears throat> she could contain herself anymore. She pushed forward, undoing the buckle of his trousers. His pants slid down his legs, and she reached into his briefs. His size was enormous, and, uh, and a lust overwhelmed, and, and a lust overwhelmed her body, pushing her into a frenzy. Oh, that was quick. Her lips engulfed his rigged shaft. Her mouth was working on its own accord. Pr okay. Uh, uh, I'll pick up on this later. Her prompted action made him groan with pleasure. Ugh! Her mouth felt warm on his tool. She was bringing him closer and closer to climax. She knew what she was doing and she didn't care either. Okay, I'm going to pause at this moment and mention the fact that we don't know how big it is. So I'm going to assume that this is the man with the smallest penis in the world. Which, if I remember correctly, is like... It's... It's like a fraction of an inch. So I'm going to assume that's how big his penis is, because it haven't, hasn't said anything about it yet. His eyes had... had and <laughs> Okay, I haven't heard that. I actually haven't read this word before. His eyes had encapsulated her, uh, made her release her inner cravings. Uh, by the way, another thing, I'm sorry I keep pausing this bullshit, but uh, so, um, I'm really reading it as it's written, so just letting you know. A total stranger, a kidnapper, and for all she cared... Prince Charming. No, 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 no. And for all she cared, Price Charming. Yep, good old Price Charming. <laughs> With a final grunt, <laughs> he released himself, which, which she drank greedily. Like greedily. Like okay, never mind. She freed herself from his manhood and licked her lips. She leaned herself back and slowly removed her panties. She waited for him. She wanted him so bad. Her breast wanted to be free. Her breast wanted to be freed. Oh, her, her beast wanted to be freed. She removed the rest. He removed the rest of his clothing and slowly knelt before her, placing his head near her nether regions. Ooh. He started to eat her. Oh, oh okay. D he... he Yep, just fucking taking bites, munching, really, uh, getting into that shit. Um, <laughs> her body started squirming and her moans became more wild and loud. His tongue swirled deep within her, making her body shiver every time it passed her love bud. <laughs> I'm gonna cry! <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Love bud. <sighs> With a loud... <coughs> With a loud moan of ecstasy, she came. Her juice... Wait. Did anything even happen yet? What? 
He placed his head near her in other regions and started to eat her. And then the, oh, okay. His, he moved a little bit with his tongue and now she's already finished. Okay. With a loud moan of ecstasy, ecstasy, she came. Her juices flowed from between her legs, leaving her in a state of bliss. Her pussy was warm from the tongue lashing she'd received. I don't think tongue lashing is... Like, okay, never mind. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm done questioning this shit until I do it next time, because I know I'm gonna. Right. Her pussy was warm from the tongue lashing she'd received, and his fingers had no problem entering her. From this, she knew what was to come. His fingers moved in and out faster and faster. Her hips bucked with every deep thrust. Wait, with every deep thrust. Wait, 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 wait. If he's just fingering, why would he be thrust? Why would he be thrusting? <laughs> and deep thrusts at that. Okay, no, yeah, no, he's just, you know, thrusting his body while fingering her. You know, that's, that's how it works, kids. Try it at home. Put it in me, she begged, her body dripping with sweat. He obliged, he obliged her and slid his throbbing piece deep within her wetness. <laughs> uh, she cried out in pain as his first thrust hit her hard. Working from a slow pace, he pushed himself deeper, causing her to moan each time. You know, you know, these stories never go in depth of like how this is all happening because is he just he's just pushing in completely dry I know the idea is she's supposed to be wet but it it doesn't work that way you 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 need to lubricate with something you can't just thrust all the way in all the way at once it just doesn't work that way you, you whatever fuck it I got no time to sit here and talk about how sex works ask your parents kids <clears throat> right Working from a slow pace, he pushed himself deeper, causing her moan, causing her to moan each time. Louder and louder, her moans became as he massaged her hardened nipples, lift, lifting her, uh, lifting her up onto his legs. He, uh, his, his bounced her body up and down. This threw her body into a fit, into a fit of spasms. Her body loved this, and he knew it. He increased his thrusts each one throwing her into sexual into a sexual rage so multiple sexual the sexual rages all at the same time <laughs> great I'm, I'm about to like sexual rage quit uh, over this never had had she felt this way never had she ever believed she would either her breaths came uh, out in bursts his speed steadied. She knew what was coming. She always knows what's coming, doesn't she? Man, Samus is smart. I wish I was smart like Samus, because, you know... No, you don't. Okay. She knew it was coming. He placed his hands hard on her hips and pushed her, pushed her down deeper onto him. Her body started to warm up. She could feel him... And empty himself deep within her, like, empty, like, uh, whatever. The feeling was empowering and left her dizzy. Her vision began to fade and she lost consciousness. When she came to, when she came to notice a change in scenery, she was laying in a four-poster bed. Four-poster, is that a thing? Four-poster bed? Whatever. The room was elegant, the space was enchanting. To her left, she noticed the table with a bowl of fruit and a note. Okay, it's fucking Fifty Shades of Grey. The Samus kidnapping and fucking of the Samus and the... Fifty Shades of... you know what. Grabbing a handful of grapes, she, unfold, she unfurled the note. Good morning, Miss Aaron. I hope you have left all well after the ordeal last night. Take your time to shower and eat. Your day has only just begun. 
A grin came across her face. Just begun, she thought. I think I could get used to this. Unfurling herself from her bedding, uh, Samus, had, Samus head to the bathroom attached to her quarters. Her eyes were blinded by the intense whiteness, whiteness of the enormous bathroom. She walked up to the large vanity and looked in the mirror. Okay, it's 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 brightness and like it's if I feel like the reader is it's it's not that they're not creative, it's just they don't know words for things. My hair is absolutely messy, she says, picking up a brush. Are you kidding me? There's some in my hair. Oh well that's not wait, how? What what? When did that happen? Putting down the brush, she heads to the shower. The size throws her off at first. From the outside, it seemed to be a double inside. It seemed to, to double inside. The wall had a built-in lounger. Surrounding it was an assortment of shampoos and other washing products. Once she was close enough to the shower head, it went off spraying warm water at her feet. She hopped backwards and startled. Reaching forward, she tested the water, and the droplets bounced off of her supple skin, leaving her beaded... Mo okay, no, there's two people working on this. One of them knows how to write better than the other, and also does not approve of reading much shit. Okay, Th that's just how it is, okay? Right. The droplets bounced off her supple skin, leaving beaded marks on her arm. Wow. That's like some intense fucking water if it's leaving marks on you. Letting out a sigh of relaxation while waiting for her body to become moistened by the liquid. The shower was amazing, leaving her body tingle with such a sensation. Grabbing one of the many shampoos, she started lathering it in her hair. Oh, that feels much better. And she smiles and starts washing up the rest of her body. The water combined with the feeling of being clean was exciting to her. Samus' body, er, Samus' body started, started, Samus' body started to tingle, not started, but stared, oh my god, Samus' body stared to tingle, <laughs> what's tingle doing here, <laughs> come on, I read a Metroid fanfiction, I can't get away from Zelda, even if I try, Samus' body stared to tingle, and she let out a small moan, she knew that she just woke up, but her heart was pounding with the memories of last night. Her hands went separate ways, one caressing her perky bo bosom, the other went downwards, massaging her moist crotch. Yep, that's, there we go, folks, that is the most, um, oops, forgot the word, her, oh, oh man. Okay, her moans became louder as she sat down in the, in the lounger chair. Just, wait. There's a, there's a lounge chair, like, in the shower? <laughs> Where did it come from, and why is it in there? It's getting soaked. Somebody should get it out of there. Thrusting her own fingers deep into her own, into her body. Her nipples were hard now, and they were firm to the touch. Okay, so they're hard and firm, that's... whatever. Each gentle motion pushed her closer and closer to ecstasy. Oh god. Oh god. That's my phone. Uh, it went off a bunch. I'm gonna go ahead and just pause this recording and I will get back, and for you it's gonna seem instantaneous, but for me, not. I apologize. Uh, my phone and where I live at the moment There's, we get shitty reception out here and and when I don't have my phone sitting in the right place for a long time I accumulate messages and when it gets service I just get everything all at once her body was shaking her fingers moved with fluid motion that made her moans louder easing herself onto the chair she laid herself in, out in a doggy style her one hand continued to pump away at her now aching pussy. 
She longed to have him. The feeling of her own fingers caressing her clit made her body want him badly. Wanting to increase the pleasure, she moved her hand away from her love button. Love button! And started tracing her firm buttocks with it, giving herself a couple smacks. Her body switched with pain and pleasure. Uh, her body was now just screaming, and she needed more. Her fingers started to explore, tracing her asshole. Her body... <laughs> I'm sorry. I... I... Uh... Her body bucked wildly from her... From her... Th okay, no, that's not even... That's not me. This is actually the story. Her body bucked wildly from her the deep thrust her pussy was... Experience. Wait, what? What? No, that can't be right. No, let's read that again. Her, her body bucked wildly from her the deep thrust her pussy was experience. Yep. <laughs> Best sentence. Her body was now just screaming and she needed more. Her fingers started to explore, tracing it. Oh wait, what the fuck? Oops, my bad. Wrong line. With the wild movement of her body, the fingers slipped right in, the center over the edge. What is it with being over the edge? Okay, fuck it. C collapsing with pure sexual pleasure. Her, okay, she then... <clears throat> she laid there motionless as her body released its pressure. She could feel the juices flow around her hand, which was still deep with it. Whoa, 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 she's fisting herself now? It, it does say that her hand was deep within her. Well, shit. Okay. The afterglow surrounded her like a warm blanket, and the pattering of water, uh, the pattering of the water pushing it closer, pushing her closer to sleep, resisting the urge. To, uh, she slow made her way to her feet. What's going on? Resisting the urge, she slow made her way to her feet. Stepping out the shower, she reached to the some towels. After drying off, she noticed a strange sky blue outfit. The fabric reminded her of, her, of the zero suit. And the same with the color. After s slipping into the outfit, she noticed the shape. The new zero suit had straps that barely covered her breast making them look much bigger. The rest of the suit flowed down into a V-shape that was tight and comfortable around her waist. She liked this. Not as comfortable as her original, but she liked it. She opened the door back to her bedroom. What she caught, or what caught her eye this time was a map tacked to the door. Upon further inspec inspection, it had directions to the to the- No! No! Oh my god! It had directions to the dinning hall. Ah, food is exactly what I need, she thought. <laughs> and that, and much more. Samus felt like she had been walking in circles, even though she was following directions. The halls all looked the same. All of them were decked with busts, with bust and paintings. But each seemed to jump from era to era. Eventually, she got a pair of double doors. Pushing them forward, she entered a room not to her expectation, figuring that the room was going to be a very long haul. The dinning hall was, wasn't much of a sight. Its size seemed much smaller, not fitting a building to this size. Ah, Miss Aaron, I trust you. Uh, I trust you are a well slept. I. Oh, God. Ah, Miss Aaron, I trust you had a well sleep. He said from the t uh, from the table, which was filled with food, and exotic fruits. Yes, it was. Um, her mind stopping on the word. Master? No, no, Miss Aaron, shaking his hands. Please call me Baron. What Baron? That's such a random name. Like... Okay, and the story even acknowledges this too. Look, Baron. Well, what a strange name. Who gave it to you? It's not my name, more like a title, he says, escorting her to a seat. You see, I own a large estate, and with that comes money and a title. And sex slaves and kinks. You know. Okay, never mind. 
It's almost like Fifty Shades of Black! She nods, dishing out a plate, piling fruit after fruit onto her plate. She realized that Baron wasn't eating. Why are you not- Oh my god, he's not a fucking vampire, is he? Is he a fucking vampire? Why are you not eating? I have already eaten, my dear. Please don't worry about me. Your happiness is my only concern. Her plate seemed to be empty all too soon, making her go back to more of the succulent fruit. The strawberries met her fancy. They were some of the most fresh strawberries she had ever tasted. Baron sat back, watching her enjoy her meal. He was glad that he was able to cater her, to her needs. After her engorgement of fruit, she sat up in the chair, staring at him. So why did you bring this to me? She says, pointing at her, uh, pointing at her feeding up. Okay, before I go on, didn't she already get like a basket of fruit in her room? Did she not eat the basket of fruit? Is, is, do they only eat fruit here? And for dinner, we have fruit of whatever the fuck you want to eat. We grow it, we didn't feel like cooking, eat fruit, here you go. Yeah, so why did you bring this to me? She says, pointing at her feeling outfit. Yes, I did. No, no, that doesn't answer my question. Hold on. <laughs> so did you... Oh, yes, it did. Never mind. My bad. So did you bring this to me? She says, pointing at her revealing outfit. Yes, I did. I had it made for you while you slept. That is some quick tailoring. And if you don't mind me asking, how was your shower? Do you liking my shower? Or to your liking, Miss Aaron. A small chuck escaped his grin. <laughs> you heard that? Her face flushing with a crimson glow. No need to be embarrassed. We all need a early sometime, he says as he walks over to her. Oh my god, this is a long ass paragraph. His hand land on her shoulders, gently, gently rubbing them. She tilts her head back and smiles, giving him a kiss. Her lips draw her toward him, towards him, removing her from, his, from the seat, pushing on the table, gently kissing her neck. Pulling, her, uh, pulling herself onto the table, she leads him forward. As they kiss, his hands move to her shoulders and remove the straps. Her supple breasts bounce from the sudden release and the weightlessness makes her body twitch. Slow he moves down her neck, leaving a trail of moist kisses all the way to her breast. Her, her, her one breast, I guess, y you know. It, it doesn't say. Slowly, he, uh, he encompasses her nipple with his tongue, sending her shivers up her spine. With his mouth, oh, while his mouth was busy, his hand drift to hers, leading it down to her desirable crotch. Both hands inserted... Oh, oh, okay. Both hands inserted two fingers deep within her. The thickness had her buckling back and forth. Her moans became muffled as an attempt to silence herself. Her fingers followed the movement of his... Her fingers followed the movement of his... Uh, wait, no, that, that's the statement. Her fingers followed the movement of his... What? What? But his fingers are... Okay, so it's now eight fingers. Okay, this is getting into some crazy shit. Ah, oh, God, I keep losing my place. Oh, here we go. Her fingers followed the movement of his. Each time, he slowly removed them and slowly inserted them back in. Made her pussy wet. The feeling was intense. All four fingers gave her a substitute for what was to come. And she knew what was to come. He abruptly stopped, leaving her dumbfounded as she continued to finger herself. He led her way he led her away from the table to a seat, which he sat in. Baron slowly undid his pants, revealing his manhood. Almost reflexively she wrapped her small mouth around it, placing her hand on the shaft. She combined the motion of okay, she's got a mouth on her hand, I guess. Okay. She combined the motion of her hand with her mouth. Yep, she's got a hand mouth. He breathing become, became deeper as he leaned back in the chair. Her mouth was fantastic. With every stroke, he grunted. 
<laughs> With every grunt, <laughs> she went faster. He reached forward and grabbed her hair, sliding his tool deeper into her mouth. He started to pump, being careful not to choke her. Her, uh, her moans could be heard just barely from the sounds of the head he was receiving. He pumped faster and faster, increasing the pure warmth he was feeling. Slowly he removed his penis from her mouth and started to move his hand up and down the length of it. He let out a slight grunt <coughs> as the seed flew up from the tip and hit Samus. <coughs> Leaning forward, she started to suck, his er, suck the delicious fluid off of a semi-hard cock. After finishing what was left, she took her hand and wiped of the semen from her face. Her hand, now coated with a sacred essence, started to uh, rub, rub her awaiting pussy. She stood up, only to be pulled down onto his rigid pole. She cried out in pleasure as his entire length filled her up. She bounced harder and harder on him, sending a stream of her juices between her thighs. The natural lubrication made Baron's tool go faster, standing up with her still moving vigorously, he bent over the table. He had heard her in the shower. With that, or with that, he raised his hand and spanked her. Her orgasm shocked her entire body. The pain seared, but she loved it. Faster, he slides his hard shaft in her. Each thrust hit her pelvis. Baron's cock was the perfect fit. Her pussy contracted, tightening around his tool, reaching back. This she slides not one, but two fingers in her tight ass. Her moans and movement became wilder as both her fingers and his manhood simultaneously went deeper in. Juice flowed like a mountain from her pussy. He moves his hand down to the action and then drips, drips the juices near her working fingers. Please, Baron, oh my god. Oh, please give it to me, she cries. I want you to fill my pussy. Come fill me up. His emotions become much more exuberant. Each time his hard cock plunged into inside of, into inside of her, her entire body shook. Her silky breasts bounded forward and... <laughs> her body was dripping with both hers and Baron's sweat. Samus's juicy... juice. Samus's juice flowed harder, <laughs> knowing that he was soon to climax. Her pussy was dampening with fear and indulgence. His rhythm slowed as she wrapped herself around his throbbing extension, drawing him closer into her. <laughs> his waist, her, his waist quivered as he injected his virility coating her insides with unbelievable radiance. Her frame collapsed on the table, exhausted from the glorious workout. <laughs> Baron removes his limp, spent tool from her dripping pot. She rolls onto her back and gives him a big smile. <laughs> that was so much better than doing that on my load. So, well, I'm glad I could have... Well, I'm glad you have seen it in my way, he says, leaning towards her, kissing her tenderly. So how about we get cleaned up in the shower? Ooh! He extends his hand toward her, slowly easing herself on her feet. They walk, they walk through the double doors. She latches her arms to uh, around his upper body. Their footfalls echo down the empty halls. His breathing flows softly into her ears. They make it to her room. Her pushing him towards the door, her lips furiously pushed against his lips. She released her, her lock and rushes to the bathroom door. O looks over her shoulder with the biggest grin. I'm trying to process that last one. There. I'm not entirely sure of what's going on. A game, he says, rushing after her, flowing her childlike shenanigans. As he enters the door, the shower shuts. Slowly, he steps towards the door. His hand moves gradually to the doorknob, taking his sweet time 
he turns the handle. That's the end of chapter one, you guys. We are 40 minutes in. Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, well, well, that is fucking ridiculous. Well, tune in to part two. Please tune in to part two. Please. Thank you very much. This has been a great ride. I'm glad I read this tonight.